So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing loops in C++. Till now we have discussed for loop and properties of for loop. Properties means like uh, different different ways in which you can write down a while loop, some tricky things you can do with while loop. That thing we have discussed in previous videos, right? The next is while loop. So now that thing we'll be discussing in this video. What is while loop? Syntax of while loop, flowchart, uh, working of this while loop with the help of flowchart applications or you can say use of while loop with the help of three or four programs we will be uh, seeing these things practically so each and every detail about while loop we will be discussing in this video right now before that just want to tell you one thing see if uh, your dream is to get placed with a high package in software field then definitely this information is helpful for you guys let me just ask you one thing first why is it important for a fresher to get placed in a high paying software job it's not just about the salary, it saves time. Yeah. See, instead of getting a hike after two to three years, if initially you get placed with a high package, then definitely it saves time, right? But how? Do you need to be from the top colleges? Does your branch matter? Do you have to be intelligent? The answer is no. If you have industry relevant skills, then companies are ready to offer you high package. Now you can ask me how, see thousands of students be it final year or graduates started from zero, built industry relevant skills and got placed in high paying software jobs. They got hired by thousand plus companies. How, who is behind all these? It is a proven curriculum developed by IIT graduates who worked with the top companies like Amazon, Microsoft as product developers. And the name of this, uh, this proven curriculum is Next Wave CCBP Intensive Program. See, many of us wants to get placed with a high package in software fields, but you might not know what skills are required for that and how to learn from where to learn these skills, right? So to know these things, you can attend and make use of the free demo offered by Next Wave CCBP Intensive Team. Link is in the description box of this video. And one more thing, you can also get a scholarship up to rupees, up to rupees 15,000, but it is for limited period of time and it is limited offer. So go now and register your free demo. I hope it would be a turning point in your career. Now let's see. Let's discuss what is for loop in C++. See why we use loops. Basically what is need of loop? If you want to execute a statement or block of statement repeatedly more than one time, five times, 10 times, 100 times or as many times as you want. Repeatedly you want to execute those statements and then, then we put these statements in a loop and we put some condition, right? Now. While loop is what? Simply you can write, it executes a block of statements as long as the condition, the given condition is true. Now what is syntax of uh, while loop? See, you simply write while keyword. Here you will put some condition, termination condition we can say. And here we write block of statements. Okay. You can write one statement or multiple statements. This is block of statements. So this is general syntax of writing while loop, right? Let me just uh, take one example, see. Okay, so let's see, this is the example. See in for loop, I have told you three basically things are there with for loop. One is initialization, then termination condition, then modify expression, and then we can say one is statements you want to execute. So. But in syntax, we haven't written any initialization here and any increment or decrement, right? That in for loop, we have written like in one statement only for here, initialization, then condition, then update or that uh, modify expression. And here we write some statement that you want to execute and again, again, again and again. But here in one line, we only write, here we only write condition, only one thing, no initialization, no modify expression. So where do you write these things? And it is not compulsory to write initialization and these things, no. Yeah, but it is mandatory to write down to specify the termination condition. Otherwise, unexpected result you will get. Maybe it would be infinite loop or maybe compiler error you will get. These things also will be discussing one by one, right? Now, let's see here. This is one example. So simply here I'm uh, using all the three things. This is what initialization before starting of this while loop. This is termination condition and here modify expression within this block of statements, right? So this condition and these are these two are block of statements, right? So as long as this condition is true, then 
these statements would be executed again and again right so now see int i is equal to 1 we have specified i variable here we have 1 condition is i less than 3 1 less than 3 yes so control will enter into this while loop and 1 would be printed now slash n means next line cursor will be next line new line then i plus plus then it becomes 2 again condition check 2 less than 3 yes 2 would be printed then i plus plus i is 3 now 3 less than 3 no now out of this while loop so you will get 1 and 2 right and one thing this while loop is what entry controlled loop two categories of loop exit controlled and entry controlled so it is entry controlled loop while entering we are checking the condition right exit control means while exiting the loop we will check the condition while entering we will not check any condition right like when you go in metro then while you entering while you will enter into the, the metro before entering they will check you if you have any suspicious item or not right and when you go in a supermarket then while exiting the supermarket they will check the items and the bill so this you can relate with these things for and while loop are entry control loop so, okay if the condition is not true then you will you cannot enter into this while loop like if you have any knife or any suspicious item you cannot enter into the that metro and do while is exit control loop you can enter in while loop no matter the condition is true or not while exiting it will check the condition right so here these statements would be executed these two statements again and again as long as this condition is true as long as i is less than 3 right now here one thing is very important it is really important to update this i here if you will not update i here then it would be an infinite loop if you will not write here then see out i i becomes i it will print one again it will check i is still one because no increment is there so one is less than three yes i would always be less than three and it would be an infinite loop again it will print one 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 infinite loop would be there right so it's important to update i here sometimes we only write like this condition while one so this condition is always true so we need sometimes infinite loops so that also we'll be discussing in which condition what are infinite loops and why we use infinite loops and how to control how to you can say uh, terminate these infinite loop that also we'll see so i hope you got what is while loop general syntax of while loop general working of while loop let me just tell you uh, let me just show you the flow chart with the help of flow chart the working of while loop see here we check the condition right if this condition is true then body of while loop or body of loop would be executed or you can say this statement would be executed right and again condition would be checked this would be in loop once condition becomes false we are going to exit from this loop right whatever you will write here those statement would be executed but this is with the help of flow chart you can show the working of while loop right now use of while loop basically we can use this if you want to check if you want to put some validation on input right that in that case we can use this thing fine let me just show you these uses with the help of program so let's create a new file let's write while loop extension is dot cpp right and first as first uh, we will write like uh, for user validation for user input validation we can use while loop how you can write down this thing see so let's take a number suppose n and from user will ask enter number and uh, enter number greater than suppose greater than 6 ok I want a number greater than 6 right so you have to check now number is greater than 6 or not the number you have entered so that thing we can do with this uh, how you can write down this thing with while loop we can write down while this 
this number n this number n less than equal to 6 if this is the case then we just simply print what please enter number greater than 6 and then scene again number n right and after that simply we can do whatever you want to do or here simply I am print, printing thanks that's it right I hope now you can see right whatever I have written here so now let's save this and let's run this so it is asking enter a number greater than 6 I am entering 3 please enter a number greater than 6 I am entering 1 please enter a number greater than 6 I am entering 7 so thanks so you can validate you can uh, you know put some validation on user input with while loop now the assignment for you is suppose I want a number between not greater than 6 number between 2 and 7 this is the thing I want between 2 and 7 so now you have to put what condition you will write in this while loop now think and write down so I hope you have tried this thing now what condition we will put between 2 and 7 between 2 and 7 means you want 3 3 4 5 6 right so in while we can write down something like this number less than equal to 2 sorry less than equal to 2 or two condition you need to put logical or operator number greater than equal to 7 right it's not num we have taken a variable n only so that is why it is giving error red line because the variable name is n this condition you need to put if this is the case then we write try again or here you can write please enter valid number same thanks and then after that see out thanks right let me just run this and show you the output enter number between 2 and 7 see so I am entering here 8 please enter valid number 1 please enter valid number I am entering 2 it is also not valid between 2 and 7 I want so I am entering here 5 thanks so this is what you can do uh, next thing what we can do suppose uh, I want it int n and here I want what see out enter a positive number okay start countdown fine see in n so here we can put one uh, here what we can put condition in while loop while sorry we have to put semicolon here while this n greater than 0 then here we can print this number simply see out number right and for new line I am just adding this time slash n and then n minus minus right and after that in see out we can do something like this let's celebrate right so let's run this and see what output you are getting here in this case so enter a positive number and start countdown so i am entering a positive number 5 so 5 4 3 2 1 let's celebrate like 10 9 8 this type of countdown so this is second example of using this while loop and another thing with the help of flag also you can write down this type of program between 2 and 7 if you want to check this condition so with the help you can take a flag variable like bool flag and with the help of that also you can put this type this type of condition so let's pause the video and try this out so i hope you have tried this out
let's try this we will take a variable bool name of this variable i'm taking flag and that first time it can take either value true or false because it is a boolean type bool type so first of all bool uh, the flag is false and in while i am writing not flag not flag means it would be now true so condition is true and we are going to enter in this while loop so now we can put our condition if if n n what less than between 2 to 7 we want less than equal to 2 or n greater than equal to 7 right so what we can write down here not a valid number okay this type of thing you can write down here find now else in else sorry we are not putting any condition here in else part we will write or we can simply write down thanks for entering a valid number right thanks plus this thing is really important the second line of else you have to set flag to what true okay one more thing we have to ask from the user to enter a number that thing we haven't written here so in this within this while we will ask see out enter number between 2 and 7 right this thing and then see in n then we put obviously the condition if number is less than equal to 2 or greater than 7 not a valid number else thanks and flag will set true okay now now let's run this and see what output you will get okay now enter number between 2 and 7 i am entering 5 so it will just print thanks and out let's run this again 2 and 7 i am entering 8 and not a valid number then again it will ask enter number between 2 and 7 again i'm entering 0 not a valid number enter number between 2 and 7 now i'm entering 3 now thanks right so i hope you got the working let's see the working if suppose first of all flag is false not false is what true right so we will enter into this while loop now it will ask enter number between, between 2 and 7 suppose we enter 3 so this condition is not true if condition so the control will enter into else part it will print thanks and now we have to get out of this while loop because you have entered a valid number right so that is why you have to put flag true now flag is true so now after else again check the condition control will go here while not flag now flag is true not flag means false so it condition becomes false so now we will exit from this while loop right that is why it is important to set this flag true if you will not put here true then this condition will always be true because flag will, would always be false not false means true so it would be an infinite loop right so this line is very important i hope you got the importance of this line so i hope you got basics of while loop working syntax and everything right now what tricky things you can do with while loop right and uh, you can say or uh, properties of while loop or you can say different different ways in which you can write down while loop sometimes they ask this type of question like they will give you a code snippet and what would be the answer of this thing just here in that code we have while loop but they do some tricky things with that while loop like they can put semicolon after while loop or they can change some condition and maybe you haven't tried that thing with while loop because you simply traditional way you are writing while loop and that's it this is while loop no many things you can do with while loop right so at that time you will get confused like you haven't tried that thing with while loop you will maybe you will say this will give error but that will give some output so those kind of things some coding exercises we will be discussing in next video with the help of programs also so now it's in the next video till then bye bye take care